Welcome to June's Legal Challenge. Today's problem is queue reconstruction by height. Suppose you have a random list of people standing in a queue. Each person is described by a pair of integers, h and k. h is the height of the person, and k is the number of people in front of this person that have a height greater than or equal to h. So write an algorithm to reconstruct this queue. That's poorly worded. All they mean is that the input given to us is not filling this condition. It's not sorted in that manner. So we want to create an output where all those conditions are met. Q shows that there's either um, to this person's height, there is either a tall person or the same height person in front of him. So two, we see that there's two people with that. Six, we see only one that's taller in front, so on and so forth. So there's a hint given to us here what can you say about the shortest person in this position? Like, And that's really the biggest hint to help us solve this problem. <clears throat> so I've, I've sorted the input given to us by height and Q. Um, and that helps us understand this algorithm better, that that's actually important. So what can we tell about the shortest person? Like, We know this is the shortest person, and um, we also know he has the s smallest number of people in front of him, right? So. Since we know that everyone after is either taller or the same height, this index, no this number of people in front of him is simply going to give us the proper index number that he belongs in, in our output. So here we know that four people are in front of, are in front of him and everyone is going to meet th those conditions. We can just put that in index number four, right? So what about the second shortest person, five? Well, the same condition holds. Everyone after him is going to be taller or the same height. So this would be the same thing. The only thing we have to consider is there is one short per shorter person that has already filled our output. So why not just iterate down our output and count up the number of indexes that we need to fill up, uh, but don't count the ones that have already been filled um, unless they're the same height as him. Okay, If they're the same height as him, then you, you have to count those up. Uh, so here, 5, 0, we don't need to worry about that because it's before this 4, 4. But 5, 2, we have to consider the 5 here because even though it's not filled in yet, it's the same height. So this counts. It'd be 0, 1, 2, right? What about 6? Well, uh, we don't count this. We have to count this, 0, but we don't count this because they're all shorter. But this one, now it's 1, so put that in here. Okay, and finally 7. Um, seven would be, uh, we count this, so just put that in there. And seven, one, we do have to count seven, right? Zero, because he's the same height, one. And that is the same as our output given to us. Okay, so how, so I can visualize how it's working. We're basically filling up this empty array, um, just iterating down each time and not only counting up the nuns for the index numbers or the ones with the same height. Uh, but how do we write that out? That, that's the tricky part. So let's, um, we're going to have to have a, like a nested loop. Let's first indicate what our n is. That's going to be the length of people. And let's create a empty output. So let's say none times n. And we're going to be filling this in. Finally, let's sort our people. And luckily that method will sort it by height and q in ascending order. All right, so for height and Q, I guess, in people, what do we want to check? Well, uh, let's initialize two variables here. And zero is going to be the index number for the output that I want to put it in. And J is going to help us um, track the index number as we count the nuns or the people with the same height. Okay. So while I is less than N so that we don't, um, exceed our output, we're going to check, hey, if not people, or I'm sorry, output, I, and, or I guess it's or, or if it exists, and output, I, the first element, is equal to the height given to us, then we could increment our, our index tracker, J. Uh, then we want to check, all right, 
is j equal to the q given to us. And if it is, then break. Otherwise, just increment our iterator, our index i, so that we can just continue down our people. And now that we have our i, the proper i, we can just fill that out here. Say output i is going to be equal to the height and q, and make that a list. Now we just return our output. So let me see if this works. Um, and our test case does work. Let's submit that. And is accepted. So this is not the best solution. Uh, in fact, the accepted solution from what I've seen is starting from the tallest person and building up this array by doing inserts. And that works too, although the time complexity is the same. Um, but this, I guess, visually made more sense to me, even though we're doing a nested for loop and it's, it doesn't look great. Um, it still made more sense to me, like how these conditions are being met. So hopefully that helps. Um, take a look at the solution if you want to find the optimal one. And I wish I had a whiteboard because um, I want to explain this more in detail, but hopefully that is enough. So thank you.